Hey everyone, my name is Perry. I'm an electrical and biomedical engineer and today we're going to be watching Cells at Work episode 13 to see how accurate all the science and technology in this anime really are. I did watch episode 12 but there wasn't much for me to really talk about and since episode 13 is kind of like part 2 of the episode 12 I just thought this would be a really good video to summarize both episodes. <laughs> This is very reminiscent of that histamines episode where your body is behaving the way it's supposed to and your cells are working the way that they're programmed to, but it's actually bringing more damage than assistance. The logic here is that there are not enough red blood cells to move oxygen to the organs that require it. So instead of having like less oxygen to your organs because that's going to slowly kill you, your body starts to increase your blood pressure which means your blood is you know oxygenating itself much faster and your CO2 is being exhaled much quicker. So it's like one red blood cell is doing the work of like five or six and because it, it's just moving throughout your body at a much faster pace. and. This normally would be a very, very efficient thing if you're not bleeding very much. Because the, one of the reasons that you are bleeding is so that blood leaving your skin means that bacteria and other pathogens can't come inside. Like there's always going to be a positive, like, uh, what is it, positive pressure in your veins and arteries because if any of them should get punctured, the worst thing that can happen, I mean besides the fact that you're bleeding, is that stuff from the outside comes into your bloodstream. That's when you can get really, really sick. In this situation, there's a wound that's causing a lot of bleeding to this person's body, hence all the red blood cells like falling off the cliff and into you know the void. Now the issue here is that increasing the uh, blood pressure will actually send more and more blood out of the wound. It'll cause you to bleed a lot more heavily instead of actually doing its intended effect of getting the oxygen to your organs that need it the most. <laughs> When somebody is in hemorrhagic shock, meaning they've lost a lot of blood, one of the things that happens to them is their body temperature will really decrease. And I mean, 1.2 degrees doesn't sound like a lot, but you, you will certainly feel it. And well, one of the reasons that you actually get colder is because now your blood is solely focused on keeping your vital organs alive, which is like your uh, your brain, your lungs, your liver. I mean, normally you would have blood flow would just all over your body, but Instead, like now your veins, capillaries, and arteries, all those blood vessels are actually like constricting and they're only on those internal organs, which means there's less blood flow to your skin, so you feel much colder. <laughs> That is really, really cool. And like one thing I never thought about was when you are receiving a blood transfusion, it's not like the, the new red blood cells and white blood cells have to be told what to do when they enter like a new person's body. They've, they already have their purpose mapped out and it's like there's no training required. They just do what they do. It is very, very important that you receive the blood type which you already are if you're undergoing a surgery or any sort of blood transfusion for any reason because if you are receiving, like if you're type A and you receive like type B blood, what's actually going to happen is your body is going to attack the new red blood cells as if they're foreign invaders because it doesn't actually know that it's helping you. Like your body thinks that they're like foreign substances like bacteria or viruses and it's like it's like your body is literally attacking itself from what's supposed to help you and it gets it, it's a really acute reaction and it, it's terrible but these are very very like I, I say extremely rare I mean I, I can't remember the last time I actually heard a horror story like that but it's it's pretty bad like definitely like people double triple check that if the patient is blood type B then they will receive like B. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I believe that does it for Cells at Work Season 1. If you want to see any Season 2 videos, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay fresh and stay golden.